Sydney Roby into the starting lineup for the first time this season and in the center circle for the tip for Miami. The Hurricanes will start off with the basketball. Stephanie Watts lost it on her way to the basket. Holoshinska transfer out of Illinois, picks it up, goes to the basket and gets the first points. Taylor Mason, boy, she has had to play a much bigger role and a nice finish there for the senior out of Decatur, Georgia. Kelly, freshman out of San Antonio, Texas. Basket is good. Bailey has some range to her game, not just a back to the basket post player. Players who coming into the Wake Forest game had any experience. And so it's still going to be Wake, uh, UNC kind of getting in the flow both offensively as well as defensively. Marshall finally has some points. She hits a three for Miami. Well, Stephanie Watts head to the locker room. That's something we'll try to keep an eye on. 8-0 run by the Hurricanes. As North Carolina continues to struggle on this end, Alyssa Uspi off the bench. The freshman out of Rochester, Minnesota, has a couple points. I like Uspi's upside, Jen. I just think she's so versatile and just gives them a nice bounce off the bench. Talk about North Carolina's balance. Miami's going to have to rely on some balance and bench production as well. Yeah, that adjustment period woefully short, as I think most teams would attest with so few non-conference games. She has since graduated, and then you would have thought Mikea Gray, Kelsey Marshall, the two cornerstones on which this team was built. Now it's going to have to be somebody else, and Taylor Mason, one of those. Taylor Mason's one of those players that's moving more into that point guard role, something she's not naturally gifted to do, but it's whatever this team needs, she's ready to, ready to do for, for the betterment. The first triple converted by the Tar Heels in this game. Mason gets to the basket, and she has seven. Bailey, left open at the elbow, that's good. For coaches to be ready to make adjustments, they're not quite sure what they have yet. So all of this is still kind of that newness area for both coaches and players. Jen, it means this game just not had a lot of flow to it. It's just been a little disjointed. Houston, trying to work around Malu Chitenge inside. Chitenge called for the foul. Another offensive rebound to the Hurricanes. It's Destiny Hard and doing the work, getting the points. And with the benches spread out, we've seen in a couple of games, that gives the players more room to dance. You know Miami's bench has to be loving that. Another three for Kelsey Marshall. ACC women's basketball game, when you have a couple of opponents have to postpone, you figure things out. You add a game in. Sydney Roby back in the game. Couple of fouls in the first half limited her, but now she has her first points of the game. Doing their own 1-2-2 two, two, and dropping back into a 2-3 matchup. City Baba got through, found an opening. As you used to do, right? You just had to keep boxing your player out. They'd wind up out of bounds, but your whole job is just box them out. You know, Jen, you're showing our age now because <laughs> a lot of coaches now, because of so many injuries and cushions occurring in rebounding drill. A little out of control of the dribble. That is a really deep three from Holoshinska. Big offensive rebound from Usby. I mean, Fought their way back into it on the glass, and it was much closer at the half, just a two-rebound advantage for the Tar Heels. That's a pretty three for Destiny Harden. So much promise for the freshman Deja Kelly, McDonald's All-American, Gatorade Texas Player of the Year. Looked like she was going to Texas. Courtney Banghart spent some time on the Zoom. Bailey got a good look inside. Bailey calling for it, one-on-one -on -one in the paint. Now some help defense arrives, not enough to stop Janelle Bailey. And well stated, the double was there, but Bailey just muscled it up between the two defenders. Kelsey Marshall, quick answer for Miami. 
Nice move to the basket by Kennedy Tucker, sophomore out of Little Rock, Arizona. Without Mikea Gray, who's been her backcourt mate pretty much since they arrived. That means an awful lot for her. Another point in the paint there. Marshall had it swatted away by Todd Williams. Horn set by Miami. Little screen the screener to get Goni the three point wide open look. Espy off the glass and in. Espy getting in the backside of that zone. Add two more. Final seconds of quarter number three, ticking away. Kelly and the Tar Heels trying to end it on a positive note, and they get the two there. Still up six, one quarter left to play in Coral Gables. Trying to figure out the rotations and the pairings that work the best for her team this year. Hard and tough shot. Harden already has a double-double, her second of the season. Team points, 10 rebounds for Harden. Pool working through a couple of Miami defenders and gets it to go. Polashinska will go to the basket. Todd Williams had it, had it ripped away by Harden. Harden crossing it over. That is a blocking foul on us. Be count the basket. Miami six and five at home. Hurricanes had won four in a row before that loss in Chapel Hill last year. Husby wanted to get a little closer. That is a blocking foul. Bailey, smooth. Kelly, a long three and a big one. Made three for North Carolina. Marshall breaks through everybody for two. There should not be athletics right now. I, I believe these young people need it. They need their families, which are, you know, their extended families, but obviously to do it in a safe manner. As Kelly knocks down another big three. Kelly has had the hot hand. Going for two this time. Todd Williams, big rebound, but can't get it. Kelly! as these two freshmen right now just giving all they can to keep Carolina's hopes alive. At their game against Duke postponed, they pick up this game against North Carolina on their home floor, and they hang on to pick up ACC win number one on the season. A big sigh of relief for Katie Meyer.